crashed a plane in top of a tall, tall tree. So we're going to take this bow and arrow. There's not enough room for us to get in there with the quad to save it this time. So we're going to try to shoot a bow and arrow up through the wing and see if we can retrieve it. So we're going to take you on a hike just down a little mountain and uh, see if we can get this plane back. So we'll see you on the hike. So I've got the string, he's got the bow, and he has the arrows. Okay guys, you see it in the top of the tree up there. You can barely see it up there in the clearing. You see a little delta wing up there, glider, and it's pretty far up there. So this is what we have going. It's too thick in here to use a quad. so. We're going to try to shoot up through the foam and hopefully we can get it down. So we tried shooting it with a bow and arrow. That didn't work. It's, it's almost uh, sunset right now. The sun's going down. The plane is still up there on the top of the tree. So We've done what all good RC people do. We hired an arborist. So he's going up the tree now to make the rescue. What's your name, sir? My name is Umberto. Umberto made it out here on a Sunday. Umberto. And he called me back in 10 minutes. Out here on a Sunday. That trying is the to, kind of arborist you need and love. Trying to help the RC enthusiast out. He's going up. And he's, he's like an eighth of the way there in about 30 seconds. This is not a quad rescue. It's not a bow and arrow rescue. It's a lot more expensive than those but he's gonna get it down for sure. Absolutely. He's also wearing a GoPro on his head for us. Super nice. We're gonna get some first person view from the top of the tree. FPV Arborist, the F first here on Justin's channel. That's right, FPV Arborist on drone camps. Going up, way up. Just another day in FPV. 